diet, injections, and injunctions will combine from a very early age to produce the sort of character and the sort of beliefs the authorities consider desirable. And any criticism of the powers that be will become psychologically impossible. Bertrand Russell wrote that in his book, The Impact of Science on Society, in 1953. Now I can relate to this book quite well because I was born in 1954. And I can remember how I've been conditioned ever since then. And this is what we're talking about. In order to understand that quote, you have to understand who Bertrand Russell was, and you have to understand that he belonged to the Fabian Society. Now you have to understand well, what the heck's the Fabian Society. Well, the Fabian Society goes back a little over 100 years ago. The powers that be, who've been ruling us for a really long time, got together and said, look, we got to be really careful now how we change things. These people are waking up. Remember, they're the Goliath. We got to be careful. Can't have them wake up too soon. We got to be careful how we control them. And it's a long range plan they have that they put into effect a long time ago to control us. And look at how, look how they're doing it. Diet. Again, look at when this was written in 1953. This is shortly after the chemical revolution. This is when they had the audacity to grow our food with NPK, three minerals, and expect that to produce food. Look, it's an illusion. It's food. See, that's who the powers that be are. They're magicians. That's how they do everything. It's just a big con. It's a big trick. It's how they're doing it. And now that the plant is sick, oh, we got to protect it against the, the, the pest. So now they come up with these pesticides. Now, these are neurotoxins that paralyze the insects. Pesticides poison the nervous system. Pesticides kill living systems. Humans are living systems. These people are literally poisonous on purpose. Diet, injections. Again, they're poisoning us with injections. Oh, but John, the vaccines, they cured polio. No, polio was caused from the pesticides DDT. These clowns, again, you got to understand who's behind all this. When you look at Thomas Rivers, the father of modern uh, biology, he worked with Rockefeller. These guys, all these virologists were trying to figure out a way to paralyze monkeys. And when they figured out the right type of neurotoxin to paralyze the monkeys, they figured out, okay, now how, how can we block that process? Oh, if we do this, we can block it. Hey, guess what? Hey, Hegelian problem, reaction, solution. The problem, look, you guys are being paralyzed. How did that happen? We're going to put this poison on your food. And then when you come down with it, we're going to go with a virus. We have an antidote. It's all a trick. It's a, it's, it's a magic act. It's to keep us from taking responsibility, my friends. Diet. Our food is not food. It's an illusion. Remember, when we, organic food has five times the biophotons as conventional food. So we're destroying 83% of these biophotons. Once again, it's a magic act. Look, it's food. It looks like food. Tastes like food. Not quite as good. It fills me up, but I'm not getting my biophotons. I'm getting disconnected. I'm easily, I'm more easily controlled. I don't have all of my senses. So diet's a big one. Now with the injections again, the vaccines, in the name of medicine, this is all a lie. Vaccines, you cannot, you can't make a, you cannot violate a law of nature and have a vaccine for it. That's, that's it. To show you how stupid that is, how about if I invented a, a vaccine to keep you from catching on fire? You, look, you won't burn anymore. Here, you'll be the hit of the party. Turn on the stove. Look at Johnny. Jump up on the stove. Looky, looky, looky. I'm vaccinated. Bullshit. It's voodoo. It's to convince you that there are things that are contagious. It's our lifestyles that are contagious, my friends. And sure, sometimes a bacteria can come along and be the straw that breaks the camel's back. Remember, there's that ripple effect. But it all has to do with how toxic we are internally. Sometimes that's enough to put someone over and have a self-limited disease and have what we think is a cold or a flu and others that won't affect them. So it's confusing when we try to make sense out of all this, especially when we know people are screwing us the way they are. They're screwing us with our diet. They're screwing us with these injections in the name of medicine. That's all a lie. There are no vaccines to get rid of anything. It's a lie. You gotta believe me on this, folks. 
And you'll never understand that unless you understand the cause of disease. I have two videos in the description box where I explain uh, uh, the stages of disease. Uh, healing secrets revealed and medicine is the ultimate tool of control. You see, that's the whole thing. The people who rule the world have to keep us sick and stupid. And I'm telling you right now, my friends, I'm tired of looking around everywhere I go because that's all I see. A bunch of sick and stupid people. But it's not our fault. It's by design. They dumb us down from the beginning. They put fluoride poison in our, 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 our drinking water. Remember, all of our needs can be weapon systems. Our food can be a weapon system. The air can be a weapon system. The water can be a weapon system. Medicine is the hugest, biggest weapon system there is. We're being poisoned in the name of medicine. None of this works. Allopathic medicine does not work. The medical mentality is wrong. There are an infinite number of diseases that just come out of nowhere. There's a oneness of disease, but there is also a uniqueness of disease, which kind of confuses things. But there is a oneness of disease, meaning that the body is trying to heal itself. Disease is not attacking the person. It's not acting on the person. We are the ones acting on whatever else it is. Disease is a bodily process. We're trying to heal ourselves. We initially isolate something so hopefully we can eliminate it. If not, we'll create a tumor around it to protect the rest of the body. But if it's a real high acid tumor, it can burn cells and now we got a cancerous or malignant tumor. Now we got cancer. Well, what is cancer? An acid burn. From where? Our acid cells. We're doing it to our cells. Now what's interesting when you look at how these neurotoxins are paralyzing us and how kids are so hyperactive nowadays, you know they've done research with studies that have shown where you do one thing different. Switch them to organic food and guess what? 50% cure rate with ADD. What does that tell you? Someone's poisoning us on purpose. We got to wake up to this. We got to stop putting the fluoride, fluoride in the drinking water. We even got to change the way the, the waves on the TV are because it's at a certain frequency to hypnotize us. Took them a long time to find it. Check it out. They patented it. So if, when you're watching TV, you're being hypnotized to dumb you down. The school system's designed to dumb us down. Everything in our society conspires against us. And as B.F. Skinner said, society attacks early when the individual is helpless. Diet injections and junctions will combine from a very early age to produce the sort of character and the sort of beliefs bombard their brains with bullshit. The authorities consider desirable. And who can criticize the powers that be now psychologically? Uh uh, not me. Conspiracy theorist. Conspiracy theorist, look at you fool. I'm telling you, my friends, we got our work cut out for us to wake up the masses. We got to find those who are in a desire need to get healthy. They're hurting, they're in pain. Reach out to those people. You've got lots of people you know. And you're going to find the, mo the majority of them probably aren't going to want to do anything. The majority, or half maybe, are still going to think allopathic doctors are the experts. They're not. we got to stop putting our trust in people who don't have an explanation. They admit, probably in 90% of the cases, we don't know the cause. We'll name the symptom. What's up with that? Cause effect. Cause effect. What should we name your problem? The effect is the problem. What should we name it? Should we say it's eating the wrong food or should we say it's idiopathic cystitis? What idiopathic cystitis? First time I heard that disease name, I wanted to scream. Actually, it wasn't the first thing I wanted to do, but when I looked up the word idio, uh, not idiopathic, uh, it's interstitial cystitis, I should say. Because uh, when I looked up the word interstitial, that's what it, that's when it said chronic idiopathic. I'd already looked up the word idiopathic before. Idiopathic is cause unknown. Interstitial. Chronic idiopathic. Chronic disease, cause unknown. What's the difference? Oh, it's chronic. Still don't know the cause. They don't know the cause of most of our problems, and yet we'll accept their explanations. They even admit we don't study the food, but it's not the food. 
mind-boggling how we can accept that. Why? Because from a very early age, society attacked early. They have been bombarding our brains from the very beginning to think that these guys are our experts. They're not. And you can prove it to yourself. You can take a solid food vacation, go for the appropriate length of time, and there's a good chance that just about every problem you have is going to be gone. Now, obviously, I can't make any guarantees. And it can be quite complicated for a lot of us, depend upon the type of damage we've done. So if you haven't done so yet, or if you're new, first video you've ever seen, check out my description box and I'll have a link to a playlist, a solid food vacation. And I'll also have a separate video with, that I label the first step. That's the first step of my three step process. First step, test an idea as time has come. Do something you're willing to do on a temporary basis so you can see what you're missing. Second step, correct those five main mistakes. Eat natural food. The only thing we have to do is the first step. The other two steps are preliminary. The first step is the only thing we have to do. And that is to satisfy all of our needs. And there are two groups of needs. That's the tricky part here. Two groups of needs. And, there, and those are based on two anatomical limitations. So for most of us, all we have to do is satisfy our essential needs. And that's pretty much all we have to do. But if we're damaged, We'll have another group of needs, and that is how it can get quite complicated. So, that is the secret right there, my friends. In fact, there's a common link, and I've mentioned this many times, but I know some of y'all haven't seen some of my other videos, but there's a common link between solving all of our problems that are 100% within our control, conquering nations, and controlling the masses. And that common link has to do with satisfying our needs. So how do we solve problems that are within our control? It's simple. Satisfy our needs. Problem, we don't have the knowledge of how to do that. That's why you got to take a solid food vacation so you can see what you're missing and then correct those five main mistakes. So that's all we have to do to solve every problem is satisfy these two groups of needs. Now, how do you conquer a nation? It's real simple. You don't let them satisfy their needs. You enact an embargo. You poison their food. Now, how do you control the masses? The same thing. Don't let them satisfy their needs. Now, you can do this overtly by actually starving them, which is pretty much what they did last century when they killed 262 million people, the governments did, during peacetime, to cull down the masses. It's real easy to starve the masses. Be real easy to do here, right now. Turn the power off in a big city like Houston and Shoot. Two or three months later, I had to think of what this place would be like. It'd be a nightmare. It could happen very easily. But the way it's done now, at least here in America, it's done very subtly. It's done by misdirecting our so-called experts so that people in nutrition don't know anything about nutrition. Those in medicine don't know anything about it. So the net effect is we're not satisfying our needs. You see the connection there? That's the, that's the common link we got to satisfy our needs. That's how important these two groups of needs are. It's all we got to do. The problem, most of us aren't willing and able to do that. Most of us don't even know what we need to do. Once we tell most people, what are they going to do, even if they're hurting and scared and in pain, they're going to cling to what they know. And they're going to fear the unknown. They'll shut their frontal lobe right off. They won't be willing to do it. That's why we have to provide something that more people are willing to do and that's why I like the solid food vacation because once we take a solid food vacation then we can correct these five main mistakes on a permanent basis otherwise I would estimate it takes the average person maybe five years to finally get to that stage and it's a struggle the whole time and it always is going to be a struggle until we reach the tipping point that's why I emphasize so much that we got to reach the tipping point once we reach the tipping point people are going to jump on board like you won't believe it's going to be exciting to live in this world and get excited about going out there and eating a simple natural diet that allows you to have the right mentality and feel one with everything. So you want to go out and help everybody and make the world better. That should be our only focus. We're so disconnected to the truth of reality. But we can get a glimpse of that 
If we can take a, si a solid food vacation, that's why I say when you guys do this, you're in for a treat.